For each of the following circle of center O, find perimeter in centimeter of the shaded segment ABC. So you see here, to find the arc, so ABC is the arc, R is equal to R theta or S is equal to R theta where R is the radius and theta is degree but in radian. Okay, and then you see here you have a triangle. So when you have a triangle, you can use formula of solution of triangle. Alright, so you see here number 1 for A. So we can see that this one, the perimeter is equal to so AC plus this one is arc of ABC. So ABC. So we see here for AC, when we have triangle and we have line in between the angle, we can use cosine rule. So when this one is B, this one is C and this one is A, this one is angle A. So to find A, A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. So you see here when you have BC, BC and then you have angle A, you can find what is A. So here you can find AC. So we see here A square. Then if you want to, to find A, so you just square root everything. So B square plus C square minus 2, minus 2 BC cos A. So here in this case, AC is equal to A. So AC, so you see here this one is 6 cm and this one is 6 cm. But then to use cos, to use SOT, solution of triangle, so the angle must be in degree. And you see here you have 2.5 radian, so you have to change to degree first. So here 2.5 radian is equal to, so radian to degree, you have to multiply 180 over pi. Where pi is 3.142 and then radian is 2.5 radian, so here you will get, 143 degree 13 minute. Right now you have degree, so you can find AC. So we see here AC is equal to so square root. So this one is 6 cm, so 6 square plus 6 square minus 2 BC to 6, 6 cos 143, 1, 3. So this one is AC and then plus so uh, R of ABC is equal to R theta. So we see radius is 6 and then theta in radian is 2.5 radian. So here we get 11.39 plus this one is equal to 15 which is equal to 26.39 cm. So for B here, so we see here perimeter is equal to so S A B C S is R R A B C plus A C. So this is the same with this one. So R A B C is equal to R radius is 10 cm. So 10 cm and then theta in radian is pi over 3 radian or 3.142 divided by 3 plus so we see here AC so we have so line in between angle because we know the angle so this one is 10 10 but then to use sign uh, to use solution of triangle the angle must be in degree so pi over 3 radian is equal to 3.142 over 3 radian times 180 divided by pi so we know that uh, radian so, to go to degree time 180 over pi and then if degree to radian, degree to radian we have to time. So, 180 would be below pi over 180. So, pi is 3.142. So, you can cut off these two. You will get 60. So, this one is 60 degree. So, you can find AC. So, using this formula because you have... Uh, two line in between the angle and you know the angle is 60 degree so AC is equal to so square root 
टेन स्क्वायर प्लस टेन स्क्वायर माइनस टू टेन टेन कॉस दिस वन इज कॉस सिक्सटी सो हियर यू विल गेट सो टेन पॉइंट फोर सो टेन पॉइंट फोर सेवन प्लस सो दिस वन वी गेट टेन सो द आंसर इज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फोर सेवन सी एम सो दिस वन इज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फोर सेवन सी एम so c so this one c so we know that so r a b c plus a c so we know to find r so s is equal to r theta where theta must be in radian but now we have in degree so we must change to radian so we know degree to radian divide by 180 so pi over 180 so in this case to 120 times Pi over 180, so this one is 3.142. So here we get 2.095 radian. So this one is equal to radius is equal to 8. So this one is also equal to 8. So radius. So this one is uh, AC. So radius is equal to. So here is 8, and theta in radian is. 2.095 plus so AC here is square root because you know AC is square root of this one. This is the formula to find AC. So A so here eight and eight so here eight square plus eight square minus two a a cos so the theta is 120. So here we will get. Sixteen point seven six plus thirteen point eight six cm. So here we will get thirty point six two cm. Kena bersangka baik, jangan bersangka buruk. So di. So for di. So R A B C plus A C. So we know that R A B C R theta, where theta is radian. So we need to have the angle. So there is two way. Either you use the cosine rule, cosine rule, or you can use trigo to find the angle. So if you use the cosine rule, you can just use this formula. Cos A is equal to B square plus C square. Minus a square divided by two b c. Oh, I wanted to use trigo, which is easier. So this one. So you see here when you divide this triangle, so you have seven point five here, and then you have nine here. So you can use trigo to find what is the angle up here. So you see here. So this is opposite, and this is hypotenuse. So we know so chahtoa. We can use sine. Because sine so because we have so cha tua so opposite and hypotenuse is sine so sine theta is equal to sine is equal to opposite is seven point five divided by nine so theta is equal to sine inverse seven point five divided by nine so we get. Fifty-six degree twenty-seven minute. So here we see half is fifty-six point twenty-seven. So the whole is equal to two times fifty-six degree twenty-seven minute. So here we get so hundred twelve degree fifty-four minute. So we have hundred twelve fifty four degrees. So hundred twelve fifty four degree. So it need to be in radian. So to turn ah degree to radian is equal to hundred twelve fifty four times. It would be ah to radian divided by hundred eighty and pi here. So which is equal to hundred twelve fifty four times three. 
times 3.142 divided by 180. So we will get 1.971 radian. So this one plus AC is equal to 15 which is equal to radius is equal to 9 theta is equal to 1.971 plus 15 so here we get 17.739 plus 15 which is equal to 32.74 cm.